absolutely insane. Look at that. It's definitely one of the craziest oh, thing I've ever done. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today is quite exciting for Anne and I because we're gonna be going on our first hot air balloon ride ever and we're gonna be doing it here in Dubai. Another day, another adventure. Let's get it. Let's go. So it's currently 4.30 a.m. right now. We're getting picked up in about 20 minutes. It's an early one today. But Anne and I were excited. We've never done it before, so this is a first for us. Let me know if you guys have done it. Let me know how your experience was in the comments below. But if you haven't, let me know if you will do it in the near future. Good morning, so we're here. It's still quite early, it's only like 5 a.m. It's gonna be like a sunrise mission. Good morning. Good morning. Here, Captain Eric, our flight director. On behalf of our pilot, Captain Mohammed Hagak from Egypt, Captain Ahmed Bashir from Egypt, Captain Caroline Splinters from the Netherlands, and I'm from the Netherlands. Very welcome here in the facility of Sinbad Gulf Balloons. So I just finished with the safety meeting. The duration of the flight is about one hour. Man, since it's like 5.30 a.m., it's kind of chilly. It's only 13 degrees Celsius right now here in Dubai. Since it is February, it is their cooler months. So if you're doing this in their cooler months, make sure to bring thick sweaters. All right, guys, here we go. Babe, are you ready? Oh my gosh, that is absolutely insane. Look at that. Holy crap. Babe, wasn't that just intense? It's warm, it feels so nice. All right, we're in. Mission Impossible out here. Holy crap, that was hot. Maybe you don't need a jacket. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we're now up, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really loud. Apparently, we're going to go up 4,000 feet. Them, they're already so cool. Oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> it actually says on the waiver if you have a phobia of heights, this is not a good idea for you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're currently at 1,000 feet. We still need to go up to 4,000 feet and we're already so high up. It's so high and yeah. you wanted to skydive. And I wanted to skydive here in Dubai. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We'll see about that. But look at this, crazy. It's actually super calm up here. Mm -hmm. It's so I calm. I expected it to be windier. Yeah, but it's not windy at all. It's not cold because of the fire. Yeah, there's like a flamethrower behind us. I thought it was gonna be super cold up here, but since there's like literally a flamethrower, it's super warm up here. All right, so this is definitely one of the craziest thing I've ever done. We're now at 4,000 feet, which is our maximum. Your ears kind of pop up here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit windier up here as well, like colder. 
The sun's actually starting to rise now. We can see it behind us. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but it's so gorgeous out here. We're literally like in the middle of the desert. It's just desert all around us. saw some goats. There's three of them. There's three it's of like them white. down there. have to squat and hold on to these ropes right here this beside the basket these ones right here and we have to like hold on tight and like squat the basket could tip over if it's a little windy so as long as you hold on as long as you hold as long as you hold on tight you'll be fine all right guys we're about to land Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 yeah, All right, we're okay. Everything's good. That was actually not bad of a landing. When it's super windy, they do tell you that it might tip over. It usually doesn't. I'm gonna take a nap for a bit. Oh, no. You okay? Thank you. Babe, how's that? That was fun. All right, so this is the balloon right here. It's obviously deflated now. There's our basket. Overall, it was a pretty smooth landing, even though it tipped over. But it was that was so fun. Yes, everyone's clapping because you know that was a good time. Alright guys, good evening from Global Village, one of the most popular attractions here in Dubai. Yeah, so Global Village is an outdoor cultural park. And it's really cool because you get to experience food and entertainment from all parts of the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like to my left right here, there's Paris. Behind me, there is New York. So cool. As always, we booked our ticket through Kloop. And you can do the same and use our discount code Jan and Ann 5 off to save some money. Tickets were surprisingly cheap. Cheap, yeah. Yeah, and this place is massive. It also has like an amusement park over there, like a carnival section. Yeah shopping section, food section, it's huge in here. So yeah. I was really surprised at how cheap the tickets were. Holy crap, this place is so sick. It almost feels like Disneyland. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say. It's so massive. There's so much to do. So many vendors selling food. Oh my god, this is so sick. So this place is really cool. They even have like fake designer clothes for sale. I was not expecting that. And also Anne right now, uh, we're trying to look for souvenirs to bring home. Yeah, it's so cool and it's so cheap too. Yeah, 
Yeah. The print is so Accessories, jewelry, pretty cool. Lots of gold. Lots of gold, lots of silver, you know what I'm saying? There's so many like food vendors here and Anne and I, we're getting kind of hungry because it smells amazing. It's so hard to choose though because everything looks so good. I know. So Anne got her food, she got Turkish kebab. So many varieties of food here. Over there there's pasta from Italy, there's Chinese food, wings, a lot of lobster rolls. Go to the carnival area now. I'm gonna go see if I can win something. Bring a stuffed toy home from Dubai. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Maybe a camel. Maybe a camel, like a real one. <laughs> Carnival is Korea. We're gonna go check out Korea first. All right, so we're in Korea right now. They literally have like Cosrx, our favorite skincare brand. We only use Korean skincare. We're not sponsored by them, but if you guys want Cosrx, use So the skincare here, obviously, is to be expected, but very, very expensive. A lot of the products that I already have. I bought for like 20 to 30 dollars. Here they sell it for like double. <laughs> What color do you want, babe? Yellow one. I said you want the beige. You can have the guys. I can't believe we just won. Come on, babe. You don't believe in me? Come on. Yeah, we're gonna bring it home. And we have a win! Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look at that first game. We just won a big banana. Uh, we gotta buy another seat for that to bring it home. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, so we gave our banana away. It was like this little girl. little girl. She was so happy, even the mom was so happy. You got it, baby. <laughs> you popped one. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Go one more, you got it. Oh, <laughs> oh you got a small. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, at least this one we can bring home. <laughs> getting quite late it's 10 30 p.m and this place closes at midnight but we'll end the vlog here because we're gonna go home we're quite tired it's been a long day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and follow us on social media for see you in the next one peace